nothing is written that can't be unwritten. Remember? We shouldn't let prophecy defy choices. Then we will make our own destiny. Did you want to take care of anything before going back to Sindri's? No. First, we retrieve Mamir. Then you can tell us what you learned in Asgard. After that, we shall see. You really do think of him as a brother. What about Freya? Seems like she moved in while I was away. Once she turned her hatred back to Odin, she recognized our interests were aligned. Huh. I tried convincing her of that, but... When was that? Oh. Before I started telling you where I was that night. I see. Hey, she didn't kill me. I said nothing. back. How did it go? We should travel us no further. Well, that's a bloody relief. So you put down old Garm, did you? Yeah. Sort of. Atreus, your decision to go to Asgard after all he's put us through. I'll never understand it. But I hope you at least came back with something we can use. I hope so, too. Come on. Let me show you what Odin's up to. Here's what he cares about most. More than Ragnarok or anything, is this mask. Anyone recognize it? That thing? Ugh, oh, it's a dead end. He's been faffing around with that since before I knew him. To be honest, I thought the giants were just having a laugh with that one. Okay, fine. No. You're wrong, Mimir. This mask is no fraud. The giants didn't make it, and only a few of them ever glimpsed it in their visions. They never knew its origin, but some believed it was a way to gaze into the secrets of creation itself. Is it an oracle? Much, much more. Imagine becoming one with a source of infinite knowledge. This? This is why Odin tortured me. So what do you think? Know it? No. It's one obsession he never saw fit to share with me. But I'll tell you this. Even when Odin speaks the truth, his purpose is false. Either way, it's a mistake to let it distract us. Is Heimdall our focus or not? We will rewrite our fate another way. Then I'm going back to Vanaheim. If we're not taking the fight to Odin, I should help my brother stand against him. We will join her when we can. I'm gonna study my notes on the mask, see if I can think of a plan. But if you want to go anywhere, I'm with you. And listen, everyone, I'm really sorry about the way I left. You know I've never hurt any of you on purpose. Well, when you can turn into a bear by accident, I suppose these things can happen. So, do you forgive me? Of course, Atreus. We know you meant no harm, lad. Sandre? I'm sure I will. Eventually. Okay. Guess I'll take it. While we're clearing the air, I hope that I can be forgiven for not doing more when the Hellwalkers attacked. Whatever reservations I have about violence, 
they shouldn't apply when your home is under attack. And certainly not by undead abominations. Yet I reached for a shield instead of a sword. You are right to chide me for that, old friend. The next time the moment calls me, I'll be ready. Well said, Tiar. I believe you just might. We travel to Vanaheim. Great. You gonna check in on Freya? Yes. Glad I get to come this time. So what happened the last time you were in Vanaheim? I still don't know how you got Freya to stop trying to kill you. We traveled to her village to break Odin's spell. Once freed, she accepted that I was not her enemy. You also missed a highly entertaining moment where Brock was lifted ass over face in Freyr's camp. You met Freyr? What's he like? Different from his sister. Lacks her conviction. True. And he's a bit quicker to forgive. And an ineffective leader. But his heart's in the right place. You'll like him, lad. Beautiful. And, uh, wet. It is also dangerous. More dangerous than hell? Freya's camp is to the right. No rush, is that? Not every day the lad gets to see a new realm. To Freya's camp, then. Time to see how the Vanir have fared in our absence. I hope Freya's okay. She can care for herself. We're still checking on her, though? Her brother's forces are outnumbered, and there is much I owe her. No one here. Where is everyone? Stay alert. I don't like this, brother. Kratos, Atreus, a welcome reunion. Unexpected, but welcome. You know us? Can't be. Is that who I think? Oh, you shifty bastard. It's almost good to see you again. And for once in the shape of a man, or nearly. So that's how they got your head out of your ass. Maybe now you'll stop being such a half-blind, piss-drunk, oversexed liar. He was more of a pig than I ever was. I do not know you. Do you not recognize your handiwork? Hildis Vini! Remember when we first met Freya in the woods? After I... Oh... I am so... so sorry about that. Freya's poor. Her advisor... and friend. Counselor to the Vanir. And yes, while exiled at Midgard, I was trapped in my boar form. And then you shot me. At my command. No. My arrow, my mistake. Forgotten. Vanaheim needs our help more than ever. Even Mimir's. Come. Just watch where you aim that bow of yours. My hide's not so thick in this form. We can head out whenever you're ready. Where are we going? I have a favor to ask. I'll explain on the way. Where is Freya? She came here to help her brother. She leads the search party for Freya and Bigvir. They've been captured by the Einherjar. How did that happen? An ambush. The presence has intensified since your last visit. To make matters worse, the Celestial Wolves haven't been seen in days. Or at least I assume. Not easy, tracking time with no moon in the sky. No moon. Just like in their shrine. Their shrine? It's a long story. You want us to check on them? You have my gratitude. We're spread thin. And if anyone can help Skoll and Hati, 
He'd be a fellow giant. Very well. Freya mentioned you had a way past this. <laughs> Don't disappoint them. Continue down this path and you'll find their dead. Good luck. What if by doing all this? What if we're walking straight into Ragnarok? Isn't there any way to avoid fate? Your fate? What if we can't stop you from Would you turn your back on the wolves? On this realm? Remember our agreement. The lad does make some good points, though. As long as Atreus lives, so be it. There's nothing. like inside their shrine. If I do this... Fate only binds you if you let it. Do what is necessary. Not because it is written. Good choice, lad. They have a gift for us. A way to call them anytime we need them. Remember that altar we saw when we first got here? I think that's where we're supposed to use it. Perhaps Freya will know. So in essence, they just gave us the keys of dusk till dawn. Not bad for a day's work. We should head back to Hildespini and tell him about all this. Yeah? Yes. Back to the camp. Kratos, Atreus. That eclipse was your doing, I take it. Thank you for coming. Big Vir used the diversion to escape. What about your brother? We know where they're holding him now. Bela's already prepped the explosives. If you're with me, we can leave as soon as you're ready. I could use another shapeshifter's help. Go with him, Atreus. I will aid Freya. Yes, sir. I can stoke the fires of those chain blades for you. That's enough. Once you see the signal, count it down. Come, Kratos. We should get moving. The wolves gave us a scepter. They will answer, should we call on them. Good. There's a shortcut to Niord's temple we can use in daylight. The Einher Yar are holding fear in your father's own temple. It's been empty for as long as I can remember. There's a celestial altar across the river. 
According to Bigfear, the altars were once used to signal the wolves, and now we have just the scepter to do it. What is your plan? When we reach the temple, I'll fire off the beacon. A signal for Bela and Birger to set off their distractions. The Dark Elf Hive. Nice to not be on the receiving end of it for once. With their attention drawn elsewhere, you and I can assault the main force from behind. While Atreus and Hildesfini slip in to rescue your brother in the confusion. Yes. Once we see their beacon, we'll regroup by the river and escape on Freyr's boat. Try dragging the scepter across the bell a few times. Atreus believes Ragnarok is inevitable. The Norns were quite clear on the nature of prophecy. They told us the sum of our choices were predictable. But we have changed. Careful, brother! You're covered in my the Norn said you'd kill Heimdall, but you chose not to walk that path. Back when we first met, I doubt you'd have done the same. And you? Do you still seek Ragnarok? Odin has much to answer for. If Groa's prophecy is correct, perhaps my realm can finally know peace. Perhaps I can know peace. Forgive me for being ahead on a belt, but haven't we all just established how prophecy is pure havers? Gods, the mere. What? The most annoying man alive. Just make extra noise once the assault is If we distract them long enough, Hildespini and Atreus will have more than enough time to get in and out undetected. I have not worried for Atreus. He is ready to fight on his own. This is it. There's an altar behind these vines. <laughs> Call on Skull, please. Are you ready? I am. Are you? I'm not leaving here without my brother. Coming for you, Ingvi. Completely giving away your position. <laughs> what idiots! <laughs> oh, if it isn't Queen Mistletoe herself. Hilarious, by the way. Been a while. I'm dull. <laughs> and you must be the little half-breed's father. Lucky day! <laughs> you have a lot to answer for, Sunshine. You too, traitor. Better a traitor than Odin's lapdog. Mm. <laughs> well, the burden is mine. I can help. I know. But you are needed elsewhere. He's right, you know. Sizzles wasn't looking so hot last I saw. 
I know you didn't want this, but we know how this ends. See you soon. Well, we both know that's not true. <laughs> but don't worry, Frigg. I'll be coming for you and your brother as soon as I am finished here. Now, what you got? Whoa! I didn't cool call forever due to you! Your reputation? I thought I would at least break a sweat! So aggressive, so angry. Not so vibrant on me. Not going to lie, I was disappointed. <laughs> Having fun yet? Oh well, you and me then. Bet it would work if you could hit me. Oh, he is mad now, isn't he? Any day now. Oh, look, the stick is back. Well, I'm waiting. What the? I can feel your frustration. It is immensely satisfying. What now, brother? This pair remains our best chance. Hey! Careful! These are new braces. Did you know your son sounds like a goose when he gets hurt? Oh, wait! You expected the stick to give you an advantage? Hilarious! The scion of the Aesir brought down by an old geezer's cane. You actually hit me! You know, pain is not as bad as I remember. When was the last time I even used this sword? Come on, brother. You hit him once. Just gotta find the right opening. You think you can bring down the Asgard? Hurry. <laughs> there we are. Armor fit for a cop. Right, brother. You strike like a sloppy cow. Oh! <laughs> 
What is going on in that empty little head? Oh, no, no, no. You are going to spare me out of pity! <laughs> Let it go, you may live. Is this about the little runt? Oh, now I am definitely going to cut him! <laughs> <laughs> This is your final warning. I don't think a warning is going to cut it. You think you get to just walk away? No. That is not how this works. <laughs> Get to decide my fate! You are dead, sunshine. Enough! You are in way over your head! I am? I am the Watchman of the AC, the Herald of Ragnarok! I am going to find that little monster of yours and beat his face into a pulp! One of us is walking away from this, and it sure as shit will not be you. My chances. How dare try and spare me? I am growing very sick of it. That was just... Uh, I don't know if we are breaking fate, or fate's breaking us. Get through the door. We're trapped. Uh, 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 
them for long.
think that's the end of Birger? You think he survived that? He's down there picking the dirt out of his nails with the beast's feathers. We'll see. He... Uh, <laughs> he has to be. We're almost there, Ingvi. Just hold on a bit longer. I don't suppose I have much of a choice at the moment. and boiling water. Red root and lamb's crest. I know, I know. You think I never staunched a bleeder before? Oh, now don't you go worrying, boss. I didn't go through any of your stuff while you was off being tortured. Ah, damn it, Linda. Easy. Heck you says to me for? I ain't the one who stuck you like a damn pig. No offense. Freya, mind giving her a hand? We're just taking over entirely? Hold still. She'll just get you stable so I can take you to Sindri's house. The rest of my herbs are there. We'll protect the realm in your absence. The four of us. Vanaheim's in good hands. Party at Sindri's house, then. Whoever that is. Your boat. Nope. Your boat. Go on. Take it. Sail the skies, sun yourself on its bow. You look like you could use it. <laughs> Make a Vanir god proud. He gave you his boat? Nice. He left me no choice. 
Because it was necessary, not because it was written. Prophecy holds that Galahorn is the herald of Ragnarok. Whatever it does. I read about it in Odin's library. Supposedly it... Hold it, Treus. We will discuss in private. Heimdall is dead. Good. Is it? Look, I don't know from faith. But I know Heimdall was a prize-winning taint stain with a capital stamp. If he was gonna hurt your boy, it's a good thing he ain't around no more. The Norns didn't quite see it that way. The opinion of them three shut-in spinsters ain't worth a goat fart in a hurricane. You did what you did. No need to fret about it. Hope you and your loin sprout ain't got any holes where you don't want them. We are fine. Oh, honey, you don't have to worry about him. Gave him a once over just as soon as Freyr was patched up and on his way. Did you now? Mm. So, what do we do now? Lay low. Mourn. Rest. And then we continue the fight. The four of us. Five. Jumping the dog. Helka ran off not long before your return. We have to decide whether or not to abandon this camp. Its location may now be compromised. I was not followed. If I am sure of anything, I am sure of that. Then, Vela, you can use your eyes in the sky. Find where their forces scattered. I'll check the perimeter traps and make sure they're still set. And when did Lord Freyr put you in charge? He didn't. And I don't want it. But when I have counsel to give, I can't help but give it. Love, he taught Lord Freyr everything he knows. That is good enough for me. I know. I'm just... tired. As are we all. Let us rest. What does that mean? Helka smells something. Could be important. Maybe we should follow her. Tracks. Helka's. Where are you leading this girl? So, what do you want to do now? We don't have to go straight home, do we? Look! Tracks from the olfactorily gifted hound. Seems we're on the right path. Hey, girl, we're here! How could Birger have survived a fall like that? Magic, perhaps. Let's make sure to ask once we've extricated him from this situation. Should be easy to find Birger from up here. Why'd everyone sound so scared of this place? Uh, on that note, Dragon! <laughs> I'm fine. You? Hmm. Well, he seemed angry. What do you suppose that means? We are going the right way. Where are we anyway? 
Looks to be the ruins of a once thriving Vanier settlement. What happened? Don't rightly know. More reason to find a way out. No doubt about it. Just like the frozen lightning bolt in Midgard. Yet I have never been here. Curious. Howard? What do you want, spirit? I was... A scroll. There was... A message I must deliver. The Aesir. And Thor. I, I must remember. The message must be delivered. It was important. My commander is waiting on my word. He's been waiting a while, then. Tell us. What is the last thing you remember? I was seeing red. The anger. And the Aesir. And there were these... red trees. Please, help me regain my memory. Then I can tell you what I know of that day. I have returned your scroll, spirit. And I am whole again. Now I can deliver my message. Your commander is long dead. I... Of course. Odin sent Thor to take control of the valley. I suppose it's too late now. Don't worry. We're handling the Aesir. Now, tell us what you know of that day. I remember walking into a meat hall, and Thor was there. Do you know why he was there? There were whispers he was looking for a Vanir military outpost. I didn't want any trouble, so I got out quick. That's the last I saw of him, but maybe there are others who saw more. I wonder if Thor was meeting someone at the meat hall. Oh, you think Thor was meeting Mom there? Faye never drank with me, and she would not have with him. Sometimes we never really know the ones we love, brother. Wait! I have a story to tell. What is it? It is the tale of combat. Of a fair-haired woman doing battle with the most powerful of all gods. What woman? Elaborate. What? Oh, this specifics elude me. I... I had my style me. And... Uh, I was... Excited? Yes. Uh, about to bury the hatchet with an old friend. But... Something terrible happened. I'm afraid that terrible thing was your demise, my friend. I know there was more. Three parts. I could see. All three. Please. Help me make amends with my friend. Wait. What is it you want? Are you a father? Yes. Then you must understand that my son has told me who was for him. But now he's gone. That day, so much chaos and death. I was panicked, looking for my son. Please, help reunite me with my son and Folkfanger. We're gonna help him, right? What is the last thing you saw, spirit? Statues. Two of them. Dragons facing away from each other. Separated like my sons. This toy. It will bring me back to him. This story is like many in this valley. Separated from someone they love by death. You can be with your son now. Thank you. I can't wait to see his face again. I'll give him this gift and tell him about the brave people who helped me. Now you can help us. What did you see that day? I was at the meat hall. Thor was there. He had a strange drinking companion. 
Some sort of creature, the likes of which I'd never seen. It had this barrel of meat that seemed to never go empty. What were they doing? Getting blind drunk from the looks of it. They were passing drinks around, reveling. Everyone had a temple too many, but Thor, he was by far the drunkest of any man there that day. We have brought you what you asked. Thank you, my love. She waits for me in Folkvanger. Now I can ask her to spend eternity with me. How can I repay you? Tell us what you know of that day. A battle unlike anything I've ever seen. I remember a great clash of metal in the sunlight. Thor, he wielded his hand, but it was matched by a remarkable axe. This axe? Did it belong to a fair-haired warrior? Yes, that's the one! She brandished that axe with exacting precision. Strength. Never has there been a weapon to match Mjolnir. But that axe and that warrior, Thor was in for a fight of his life. It was Faye who fought Thor in this valley. It was more than just a fight. It sounds like Mom was beating Thor. It seems there is much I never knew about her. And now she is gone. Maybe but her story here isn't finished. Here is your hourglass. Thank you. Now I can leave for Volkvanger. A question first, brother. You wanted to make this valley your home. What stopped you? I remember this valley. It was on the brink of devastation when I found it. Was it a crater like you see now? No, but the town was in shambles. Shattered glass, broken buildings. There was no home to be made here. Did you see what caused the destruction? A battle. Thor and this woman with red hair. They tore through the town. Rage between them was terrifying. Thor was enraged. I'm not surprised. No. The warrior. She was furious and fought like it. Thor was drunk and sloppy. But she was drunk on something else. Rage. It was out of control. I saw her fury. With every swing of her axe, that battle destroyed this land. These stories, I have known Faye's anger, but never to this extent. We hide the parts we're ashamed of, brother. Mm. Over here. Huh. Many thanks. No, thank you. You saved us back on the boat, right, Father? It was foolish, and appreciated. There's a mystic gateway nearby, but I have no stone for it. We do. I can't believe you survived that fall. How'd you do it? I rolled. <laughs> Talk later. Maybe I'll see you back at the camp. And under different circumstances, one hopes. Well, with Birger safe, we can get out of here. Tell her she's the best. Oh! You're back. The heroes of the hour. I want to hear everything. I mean, when you're ready, I'm not giving orders here, am I? Try to rest, Ingvi. Let the herbs work. Oh, they work? Oh, they, they work very well. Because you make things better. 
You always have. Since... Since we were kids. I find a new way to get into trouble. And you find a way to make it better. Well, that's certainly true. Do you know... <clears throat> do you know we used to leave Vanaheim? Together? When we were young? Not much older than you, to be honest. Well, you know, she did the leading. I just tried to keep things fun. <laughs> Leadership. Not really my strong suit, let's be honest. <laughs> really? Your group back in Vanaheim seems pretty devoted. Well... I can inspire people, I guess. I get them to see the best in themselves, you know? I don't know if that's leadership. Is it more like, um... Like a muse? Wait. Like... like a what? A muse. Father told me about that. In his homeland, they inspired all kinds of artists. What? I love that. That's a job? Well, why don't we have that? Oh, man. I could totally do that. I think they were all goddesses, though. Well, come on. That's not fair. That's not fair. I... I would be a natural. Ugh. Oh. What were we talking about? Ingvi, you must rest. You understand? You must. Please, just stop talking. Okay, I'm sorry. But someone was gonna fill us in on what happened with Heimdall, right? Is that what's happening? Patience. Enough. Look at that. <laughs> you really did it. How, in all the nine realms, did you manage to kill Heimdall? I knew our spear would do the trick. Well, happy Ragnarok, everybody. Let's drink. Is it true? Heimdall's dead. I can't believe it. There's no stopping it now. Odin swore peace only so long as you spilled no more Aesir blood. I refuse that deal. Yet he honored it. But now... But what? You and I know better than anyone that Odin's promises never last. We have the advantage now. It's time to bring him down. No. None of you understand what's coming. Odin's vengeance will be his only concern. Not his only concern. The mask. Whatever knowledge it unlocks, that's what Odin wants more than anything. If I go back to Asgard, go I can... Go back. Go back. Look. If I can finish what I started there, awaken the mask, get answers, Maybe that's our way out of this. But I gotta go soon. Before they figure out what's happened. Atreus, you are home. Do not ask me to put you at risk again. He's at risk where he stands, Kratos. We all are. Anything we do or don't do is dangerous right now. But Odin needs me. He trusts me. I'll be safe there. From a tactical perspective, am I wrong? I don't much like it, but it is our best play. Dividing Odin's focus would buy us time. And give us a pair of eyes in the enemy's inner sanctum. But if there is truly a source of infinite knowledge, 
You can't let Odin have it. Aye. And once he has what he needs from you... Then I lose my leverage. I get it. I'll be smart. Father. I can do this. Remember our promise. You too. I hope you know what you're doing. I do too, Sam. Well, I still want to hear how you did it. You mean how we did it? Ah, uh, you have me. And they're in like... Trades, listen. I can't let you go back without this. A hammer? Your key, please. You ever need a way out of a bad situation? Throw this down hard and say, Wergi. One use only. Wergi. Thanks, Sindri. Hope I don't need it. Me too. you were having a moment, I can go. No. Sorry. This is Fenrir. <laughs> it's okay, Ben. She's, uh... <laughs> <laughs> so, I was right about your knife. Huh? I'm glad you found a place for his soul. <laughs> me too. Hey, uh, how'd you find me here? Loki? This is my marble. And where are you heading off to? Back to Asgard. Hey, I'm actually using him. Uh-huh. Ingerboda, look. Once I see this through, I'm gonna know everything. How to save my father, how to stop Ragnarok, and maybe, hopefully, how to bring our people back. Loki, those are all very noble intentions. But he's Odin. You have faith in me, right? Of course I do. I just hope the story you're writing for yourself is the one that you truly want. Would you... Would you take care of Finn while I'm away? I'll take good care of him. Oh, night, boy. <laughs> Be careful, Loki. Bowden complete the mask, but also make sure he doesn't get any answers from it. Easy, right? Okay, panic does nothing. 
Harness it. Heimdall's dead. Happen to know something about that? Anything? Well, I mean, everyone hated them. Sure, sure. But have you seen anything, something noteworthy? I mean, you know, he did sock through pretty hard while we were out. Maybe someone found out? Got even? I, I don't know. Are you suggesting my son had something to do with this? I don't know. Honest. Well, I had to ask. Never believed you had anything to do with this. I'm glad you're back. So, I figured out what went wrong. I mistranslated a word here. Did you now? I thought it said beyond the cry of cold breath, but it actually reads the cry of first breath. Well, that's somewhere else entirely. I know where that is. Young man, you've done it again. Go. Take the mask, take the sword, take the bird. Find Thor. I'm going to Niflheim. You too. Hey, Ingrid, you wouldn't happen to know where Thor is. Yeah, I figured. Uh, hi, Sif. Do you know where I can find Thor? All Father is sending us on another mission. Why would I tell you where to find anyone I cared about? Look, it's fine if you don't like me or trust me or whatever. But I want you to know that you're hurting her. Excuse me? Druid's gonna be a Valkyrie one way or another. You know that. If you don't stand with her, you're gonna lose her. You may be working with Allfather and enjoying his little bubble of protection. But stay out of my family's business. Enjoy your freedom while you still have it. Maybe I should stop by my room. It might be a while before I can fix up my equipment again. Through? Sorry, um, all father said I'm supposed to head to Niflheim with your dad. I haven't seen him around, and I was wondering if you had any idea where he could be. He wasn't with grandfather? No. I think I know where he might be. Follow me. I, uh... Also wanted to talk to you about Heimdall. Don't. Not here. You're right. Later. Back in Helheim, I told you I'd help your mom understand how much becoming a Valkyrie meant to you. I wanted to, uh, let you know that I meant it. You didn't. And you're still alive? I did think she was gonna choke me with her hair. I'm honestly surprised she didn't. Thanks, Lucky. Weapons aren't allowed inside. We'll have to check them. Why? Just do it. Come on. This way. Oh. Come on. Come on. They're not gonna let you in otherwise. Look around. He'll be here. Oh, 
through. I'm... It's fine. Hey, Thor. Seems like it might be a bad time, so... If you need a moment, I totally understand. No rush, but... Uh, right where I thought you'd be. You shouldn't be here. You. You shouldn't have brought her here. What are you doing? Relaxing. Did I say no rush? I meant we should get going, right? We don't want to keep the all father. Quiet! He's right. You should get going. Dad? Don't do this. It's already done. Let it be known, the God of Thunder is good for two things. Killing giants and pissing Any man who disagrees will greet Mjolnir with its face. I can't. This isn't you. Thor. <clears throat> Hugin is waiting outside. Please, let's just... I said... Quiet, boy. My name is... Uh, what? No, I... Oh, come on. No, 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 I swear that really wasn't... That's enough! Oh, <laughs> 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 
his arms. Let's get him out of here. It's a good fight. I'm sorry you had to see him like this. No. No. It's fine. Really. Hey, I'm strong, but you gotta help me out here. Come on, it's not that far. Get up. Uh, you are going to Niflheim with Loki. All father's orders. You have to get up. I know you're disappointed. Disappointed? No, 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 no. That was a glorious fight. You can't even say you're sorry this time, can you? Because what's one more broken promise? <sighs> Grandfather treated you like crap. You were struggling. I get it. But you can't just... here for you, even when you're here. We love you. You know that. I just thought this was behind us. I fucked up. Get you a water or something?
ready to get back to Asgard? Just get us to that masterpiece. It's here. Gotcha. Phew. That was close. Um, thanks, Thor. Wasn't about to lose that now. Loki, we did it. We are on the verge of great things, all of our work together. You're welcome. I'm sorry. You are here. Why? His father murdered Heimdall. For said he has proof. Take him. No. Leave him alone. I command it. You said no more Aesir blood would be spilled. You said family comes first. You don't think that this is retribution for him being here? He's put your granddaughter in danger. He's made your son miserable. Loki didn't kill Heimdall. His father did. Your daughter is old enough to make her own mistakes. And your husband started drinking again all on his own. Dismissed! You two, a word. Can't you see what's happening? He's not protecting us. Magni, Modi, our boys. We used to tell them stories by the fire. Do you remember? We would carve those wooden horses. We would play and laugh until the sun sank and they fell asleep in our laps. They were thrown at the Allfather's problems like brittle knives to a mountain face. And for what? What if Thrut's next? My father against me. My daughter. I have no idea what's happening. You know, I finally thought of something I can teach you. Hey, you stand now! Sentry better be right. Where are you? Sentry. Ah! Ah! You sure know how to plan an exit. Atreus. <sighs> Glad you're safe, lad. Got out just in time. Pretty sure I burned my bridges in Asgard, though. Wait, why were you out here? Sindri told us where you would arrive should you find trouble. Oh, thought you might have been exploring without me. No, lad. Your dad was just concerned. Though, now that you mention it... Mimir. Brother, please. It's all so crowded and tense back home. Don't you miss the three of us out finding our own adventures? Putting off the inevitable. Exactly. It's not the worst idea. I do want to show everyone the mask, but it'll keep. Hmm. I'm back, everybody. Hey, hey, you made it. I'll get to here. I want to set the table if you're ready to stay. Oh, see? I told you the key would get him home. Because you tapped it with a hammer. Dwarven magic makes no sense. Right? Lunda one time made me a breastplate out of dog barks. You're I back. still can't figure that one out. Are you okay? I'm fine. I just hope unlocking this thing was worth the cost. 
You have it. What did it show you? I didn't get to use it. They found out about Heimdall. I had to run. But at least Odin can't use it either. But if you didn't get any answers from the mask, all you've done is steal Odin's greatest treasure. Just after your father's killed his most loyal ally. None of us are safe. Even here. So we have no choice. We find Surtur, sound Galahorn, and bring Odin to justice. Now. You'd incinerate every soul in Asgard and call it self-defense? Does he ever suggest plans or just crap on everyone else's? The obvious plan is staring you in the face. We don't need Odin to use this. We can slip into Asgard and do it ourselves, right under his nose. We gain the knowledge we need to shatter this prophecy of war once and for all. Except begging your pardon, you don't have a way into Asgard. They got the big horn, don't they? Oh, so you expect them to sneak into Asgard, blowing a horn that sounds across all the realms? I expect you to bite my blue butt cheek. Please, just think about it. This mask, the easy answers that it promises. I know this. Shortcuts always have a price. Atreus, you have carried it. What do you think? I think it's a chance. At worst, we'll have something Odin wants as leverage. At best, if it really gives us all the answers, then we can make our own path. And nobody has to die. Hmm. Grand. Now all we need is a way to Asgard. I know I've been a burden to you all. I know you've questioned why you even pulled me out of that hole. I have too. But it's clear now. This is what I'm needed for. This is my purpose. One last time, I will pick up my spear and I will lead us to Asgard. Excuse me, but if you got a way to Asgard, where's that idea been this whole fucking while? That's not that a fair question, brother. You withheld Asgard. You would have gotten us all killed. And we needed to give Loki time to find his destiny. Here it is. It's all led to this. If we can get inside, I'm going after Odin. I will not stop you. We can do both. Spot on, brother. If the mask doesn't give us an out, we'll still have the drop on him. Mm. Works for me. Let's do it then, and quickly, before he sees us coming. He does hate surprises. Slow down, you damn spruce. I still want to hear the details on this uh, new way to Asgard you got. Spill it. It's an ancient path. We can't reach it from here. Where then? Let me collect my things and I'll show you. You ain't got no things. And where are you going with that mask, Rock? That belongs to the kid. He earned it. All you done was make passable dirt soup. Rock, it's okay. No, it ain't. This ain't right. All the pieces ain't welding together true. Like, what's with him calling you Loki anyway? You know that ain't his name. Hey! I'm talking to you! You never shut up! Run! Pull the things, Odin. Let go of the boy and face me! Tell your brother to throw me the mask and you've got a deal. Stop moving. Freya, if he dies... No, no. It wasn't part of the plan, but if he dies, we are square for Heimdall. And honestly, you got a bargain. I will kill you. Plan on that. Mm -hmm. So nice spending time with you again. Freya, please. Uh, uh, uh. Can't be in two places at once, Frigg. Hey! I don't move, you don't move. Don't do anything you will regret. I regret many things. Killing you will not be one of them. son! I am in control here! Throw me the mask! Now! Too 
too bad, son. Looks like war after all. Please, you have to save him. You have to. He can't. You can't. Maybe if I go back to the lake. Stop it. I know what you've done. And I forgive you. But you gotta stop. You gotta let go. This whole time. So, uh, what do we do now? Now? Now we kill Odin and anyone who gets in our way. Truth. You can't run away from this, Kratos. Odin won't stop until we stop him! We need you here! 